What's going on everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Today is something actually a little, I mean, it's not too different, but we have some Korean cheese dogs and we have some ramen, ramen alfredo. Ramen alfredo. Ramen alfredo. So, um, honestly, this is kind of looking like a sad mukbang, but <laughs> it is what it is. We're working with what we have here. Yes. Um, and yeah. Yeah, so the gluten free thing has obviously put a little bit of a, a hinder on uh, the ability to do mukbangs, um, you know, in fast food and stuff like that. But we're making it work and we hope that you guys are still enjoying what we're putting out because uh, we like doing them. But We uh, like your company, so yes. I feel like that's the main part yes. of this. Um, so I'm actually going to eat probably majority of this. Carly has a little salad. For her, I think she's gonna have a little bit of this and then finish it off with a, with a salad. We're also trying to be a little bit healthier when it comes to the mukbangs because honestly, like we said, two times a week is is pretty normal to eat that way, but it's still like something that we're typically not doing. Do usually. yeah, we don't usually do it. So for Carly, it's like she wants to be on the more healthier side and try to incorporate some healthiness into the mukbangs, which I'm all, I'm all, sorry, Cap is playing with this toy. I'm all good for that. So uh, this is more for me, so it's better. And to be honest, I don't really know any mukbangers that actually do like healthy stuff, healthy stuff as well, which I usually watch mukbangs for just the company. So I would actually love if I could eat a salad with somebody mm. instead of watching them eat fast food and then feeling like I need to get fast food. So I'm going to eat a salad and I hope you guys just enjoy our What kind of salad too. is that? This is a dill pickle salad. It's uh, from the Taylor Farms kit. It's so yummy. Mm -hmm. And no cream soda today, but I do have some glass bottle of Canada Dry and she has a bubbly. I want one of these actually right now. Mm. Is it as good as you remember? Mm. Mm -hmm. I might have to have a bite of a bubble. Mm. I might need to have a bite. <laughs> oh, it's a hot dog. Mm. This ramen alfredo is definitely interesting. But it's also not bad. They're gluten free noodles, that's why. I want to try this one. Mm. Oh. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. I wanted the hot dog. Man. I mm. the cheese. Back to my salad. Mm. I was trying to buy an elliptical today. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize how expensive they were and how well you actually get your money's worth at the gym, even if you don't go. <laughs> <coughs> So I have a That's elliptical. unusual. Seriously. It's not like you. That's definitely not like me, obviously. I have an elliptical downstairs, but oh. the stride of it isn't very big. Like as good as the ones at the gym. So I wanted to go buy another one. I can't really find any with a big enough stride. Mm. But I found one that has a 20 inch stride. And it was like, oh, it's going to be, oh, be $3,000 after taxes. Crazy. An inch difference is like... A thousand bucks. So dumb. Like an inch stride difference. So like 19 to 20 inches, you're up a thousand dollars. And like, I'm like, oh, well, I might as well just go to the gym for that price. But like, I have, I've had my gym membership and I haven't went. I go in phases. Like, I used to go to the gym legit every day at 6 a.m. Well, I'd wake up at 6, go at 7. And it was a great habit for a long time. But after COVID, I just got out of the rhythm and then I just haven't really went back. And... I want to keep my gym membership for like the classes that like cycling, Pilates, um, Zumba. So, what do you guys think? Should I get the elliptical? I think I'll be more inclined. <laughs> I think I'll be more inclined <laughs> to use it <laughs> if it's downstairs. Yeah. And if it's more comfortable. Like, I do use the one downstairs. Mm -hmm. But not as much as I should. And it's really uncomfortable. So, mm -hmm. can I try this? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm getting freaking tempted. 
I can't taste it much because all I taste is this. <clears throat> oh, so I wanted to try. I wanted to try this thing on my channel. I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet, but I think it'd be funny. So Carly's the cook. What was that face? What? Oh, I thought you just made a, a like a like a grossed out face or something in the camera. No. Huh. I didn't. Well, that's rude that you thought my normal face was gross. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, but. On what? my channel, <clears throat> I wanted to do like a series or like a show of me trying to cook things. And basically, Carly will give me a list of ingredients. And I essentially just have to try to put whatever it is together without any instruction. I cannot cook. Boiling water was a task. You know what I mean? Like, they're, I'm not a great cook. Did you guys hear about the Instacart <clears throat> story? Did I tell them about that? Uh-uh. That was on your blog channel. Just go on my channel and Google, not Google, but search up Instant Pot. And you'll hear the story about what he did. Wow. $150 mistake. Plus dinner. That was an expensive a night. A $200 mistake. We got one shot day. We were supposed to have dinner. <laughs> I broke the thing. Had to buy a new Instant Pot <clears throat> and dinner. <laughs> yep. Great day for me. But anyway, so that's what I want to do. And let me know if you guys would like that down below. If you guys would be interested in that. Because... I think it'd be funny too if I'm in the back just being, yes. like, just being like, Oh my uh -huh. god, like just my background voice. Because mm -hmm. I think Jenna Marbles used to do that. She'd do a video and she'd have like her husband behind and making comments. And it was so funny. Mm -hmm. Like you wouldn't see him. But it made the video like really funny. A background commentary can be funny. Mm-hmm. I had to get two of these because these are like pee wee size. I can't even finish that. I never finish anything. This is nothing. I don't even think this is equal to like a can. It looks like it is, but it's definitely not. Maybe. I think it is. Mmm. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, because the can is shorter. But, but thicker. it's fat. Yeah. $237. So this. How much is a can? Like, I think that. Well, wait, how much is that? That's not even a cup. A cup is two fifty. Mm hmm. No, that has to be a cup. Maybe the bottles are deceiving. They really are, because they make them so thick that they're actually so much more narrower inside than. It's anything. not, dude. There's not a lot in here. I'm telling you, I finished this in like three sips. Mm -hmm. Maybe sips. Mmm. Shrugs me. We're gonna put green food dye in there for St. Patrick's Day. But we didn't. I feel like green noodles would look good. It would have been perfect if this video was coming out on Thursday, though. What are we doing on Thursday? Oh, uh, you know. No, I'm saying for the fun. I meant for the video. Man. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what are we doing for St. Patty's Day? The usual, staying home, doing nothing. We should get. White wine and then put green food color. Thursday's supposed to be like 67 degrees here. Fahrenheit. People are about to go downtown so much. Ugh. Carly! Ugh. This is worse than the cream soda, I think. Probably. Bubbly's really bad. Bu Dude, bubbly is something that I'm like very confused. Like why my body is doing this. Because usually body, I would time, never. Every time I have sparkling water. Okay, really? Ugh. Why? Anyway, so St. Patrick's Day here is supposed to be really, really nice outside, which is obviously a recipe for disaster mm -hmm. for our city. Our city is basically comp, uh, compo composed mm -hmm. um, of the party scene is literally basically on a strip where all the good clubs are, all the good bars. Where, like, the younger people go. If you're, like, in the older crowd, I'm saying, like, 40. Like yeah. Even, like, if you're, like, you
even if you're like, you know, 40 plus, you're probably just gonna go to like a, a regular bar. Like a pub? Yeah, like a pub that's not downtown, but our downtown corridor is essentially where all the partying happens for like youth. Yeah, younger if people. you're, I mean. No, 19 to like, it's like 30. It's like young adults and mm -hmm. then like sad adults. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to say. Or yeah. like a birthday or something. Mm -hmm. What is your guys' opinion on this? At what age do you think you should stop going out? We should talk about this on the podcast. Every single weekend. We will talk about this on the podcast because I think it's a great question. If you guys have not seen our podcast, please go on. Yeah. If you guys like our dynamic, the podcast is live every Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It was 5.30 California Time. And um, we go live on my channel. Just type in Carly Steele. Yeah, and it's it's very fun. It's it's basically like this without the eating part. Mm -hmm. And we read emails and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you guys can like submit emails about arguments you've had with your significant other. Or all anonymous. It's all anonymous, yeah. But it's super fun. Like some of the stuff we get in, I'm like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like you got to hear some of the stories. Like, so. <clears throat> Yeah, if you guys want to check that out, that'd be awesome. But at what age, we're going to talk about this on the podcast too, but what, at, at what age do you think you should stop going out every single weekend? Or more, honestly, like now, I don't even like to go out, period. But if you're going out for like a, I'm not talking about like going out for a birthday or like a celebration or like whatever. I'm talking about just going out to drink and to party. At what age do you think... It's, I don't want to say inappropriate, but that's the word I'll use just for um, the sake of this. At what age do you think it's not inappropriate to, or inappropriate to do that still? See, my opinion. See, I'm, I'm, I'm going younger. Me too. I'm going like 24, 25. I'm going even younger than yeah. that. Yeah. I think like 23. But maybe we're just there. losers. Well, yeah, we are, we are losers, so, like, we're also saying that because we have no friends to go with, mm. even if we wanted to. But I would never. I'm, I... Actually, you know what? I don't think there's an age. I think it more has to do with, like, where you are in life. I feel That's like... That's true. That is true. I feel like if you're, like, in a serious relationship. Because, if, honestly, if I was single, I'd probably go. Really? So, I can't even talk shit. I wouldn't. There was no... Even when I was, like, single at 19, I would not go. So I don't know, maybe I'm just a, a loser, I guess. Well, so. yeah, you are. Yeah, so that's cool. Kappa's trying to play with this. This is gross, I don't know why I'm doing that. It's not as good. <laughs> I liked it. Well, you just tore it all up, so. Well, no one's eating them. That's true. You might as well get what you want out of it. That's true, that's like, true. Like if you want the hot dog. That's true. This is not terrible. What? This, the Alfredo is really good, the sauce. Well, the sauce isn't made with what it's supposed to be made with. I just did with whatever we had in the fridge. What's missing? Romano cheese, um, honestly that's it. Romano cheese, and then the ratios are not correct either. Mm. We ran out of Parmesan. Mm, the ratios, yeah. I could tell. That's more creamy. The there. ratio's off, yeah, I could tell. You're dumb. <laughs> Want to eat the hot dog? Nope. Mm. See, like, I felt like there was nothing. You're not even done your bubbly. I'm done two of these. I never finish mm -hmm. this, though. I only like bubbly while, either if I'm, like, really, really hot. I don't know. It's only good freezing cold. Yes, that's like, true. Like, after it starts to, like, get room temp, I'm like, this is gross. See, I never liked sparkling water before you. Remember you put me always, on the sparkling water. We always used to go on walks, and I always used to have the Perrier. The Perrier, yeah. Which you stopped drinking for a long time. Like, in the, like a cheaper. summer. Yeah. But you like it in the summer, basically. Because it's a bottle, so you walk out with it. But I never, I never liked sparkling water until more recently, and it's. I it's really an acquired do. taste. You yeah. have to keep drinking it. It's like it's like beer. Yeah, you have to and wine. You and have wine. to keep drinking it to really enjoy it. To start to like it. Yeah. Like you have to adjust to it. It, it definitely is an adjustment. I never understood those kids when we were, were younger, and uh, they're like, "Oh man, I love beer," and they've had like one beer, and they're like, "I love it." I'm like. How, bro? No, they're this just is trying. disgusting. I actually always, I am not lying, I'm not trying to be that per I never had it as a You're kid. You're gonna be that kid right now? No, I never had it as a oh. kid. Oh. But I've always liked beer. I think it's because I'm a savory girl. Like, I don't want, like, I would rather have a beer over, like, over, like, a margarita or something. Like, I want, or, yeah. like, 
Like, I love beer now, unfortunately, I can't really drink. There's one beer you can have. <sighs> How good does a gluten-free beer sound? Not good at all. But I like beer because it tastes yeasty, it tastes like bread and butter, like it's yeah. savory. Yeah. Like, I feel like it goes so good with, like, bar food, obviously. Yeah, that's true. But, like, a sweet drink to me, like, the only time I would want a sweet drink is if I was, like, not hungry and I was, like, in the, like, in the sun and I just wanted one. I can have multiple beers. I can have multiple sweet drinks. Yeah, true. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching thank today's you so video. Much. Uh, again, so huge, thank you. Again, go check out our podcast, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Carly's main channel. Let us know what you guys want to see. Again, if you want us to incorporate more healthiness. I'll do the them. healthy side. Yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll still eat what I'm eating. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I feel like this was... I'm, I, I'm glad we had the Korean cheese dogs. Okay, wait, so here, let me explain something. I like mukbangs because I like the idea of eating on camera and it's really satisfying to watch. Yes. But I don't like the unhealthy aspect of mukbangs. Yes. So, we're definitely, like, even if we have a lot of food, if you guys have ever seen, we never actually eat it all. Mm. I mean, I think there was a couple times, like the mac and cheese one, I ate quite a bit. Mm. No, mm. both of us. Sometimes did. we do eat, you know, a quite a, yeah. a decent amount, but. We all, I don't think we've ever finished everything, right, except seafood boils. But, it, boils but it's still something that we want to incorporate. Yes, like, we want to like, yeah, we want to be able to eat with you guys and enjoy, but we don't want to like make it unhealthy or you know, yeah. we feel like you feel like it's just not a good idea. Yeah, exactly. Well, but thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.